questions and controversy swirl around the deaths of those four American soldiers in the African country of Niger. There will be a funeral today for the 25-year-old Sergeant LaDavid Johnson. Yeah, overnight in South Florida, hundreds of people, including friends, family, and just complete strangers, they all showed up for a public viewing. Sergeant Johnson, he leaves behind two children and a pregnant wife. Incredibly sad. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. this morning, we're learning more about the ambush in which Sergeant Johnson and his three fellow soldiers were killed back on October 4th in a country where many Americans didn't even know we had military forces. Now, there have been conflicting reports from the military as to what happened in Niger. Secretary of Defense James Mattis, he went to Capitol Hill to brief Senator John McCain, who has been demanding more information, and it comes amidst a fresh war of words between the White House and a Florida congresswoman who listened in on a phone call between President Trump and the family of Sergeant Johnson. A lot to talk about this morning. We begin our coverage with ABC's David Wright, who's at the White House. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan and Paula. We are learning a lot more about that deadly ambush. It took place 17 days ago. Some Democrats are already calling it Trump's Benghazi, but there's still a lot we don't know. Mr. President, do you authorize the mission there? Thank you all very much. President Trump has been uncharacteristically tight-lipped about the tragic mission that cost the lives of four American soldiers, three of them Green Berets. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill want answers. Senator John McCain threatened to use subpoenas to get them. On Friday, Defense Secretary James Mattis showed up in person to brief McCain. Not getting sufficient amount of information, and we are clearing a lot of that up. Now. Here's what we know about the attack it took place October 4th near the village of Tongo Tongo. The U.S. soldiers, accompanying Nigerian troops, met with a village elder. A senior intelligence official tells ABC News that during that meeting, the soldiers had an inkling of danger. The hair on the back of their neck stood up after two motorcycles raced out of the village. The intelligence official tells us the troops felt like the elder was trying to stall them. Sure enough, Armed fighters soon hit them with everything from the woods on both sides of the road. Small arms, vehicle-mounted weapons, even mortars. The U.S. team wasn't expecting combat. Their vehicles unarmored. They had no U.S. air support. And French aircraft didn't get there until a half hour into the firefight. To date, the president has not said a thing about the mission itself. Instead, the conversation this week unraveled over how best to honor fallen troops and console their families, with White House Chief of Staff General John Kelly ultimately stepping in to smack down a Florida congresswoman who had listened to the president's call to a grieving widow. Kelly is a gold star father himself. On Friday, the White House press secretary went so far as to suggest that Kelly should have the last word on the matter. If you want to get into a debate with a four-star Marine general, I think that that's uh, something highly inappropriate. The president called him an elegant man, adding that he's doing a fantastic job. He was so offended that a woman would be, that somebody would be listening to that call. He, he was, he actually couldn't believe it. Bottom line, we still do not have a complete picture about what happened in Niger. The Pentagon is conducting an investigation with the FBI's help, and the Senate Armed Services under John McCain is likely to hold hearings. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.